If you are an Amazon seller, you have noticed that PVC ads are getting increasingly more expensive. In fact, the average CPC on Amazon has risen from $0.71 in 2020 to $0.91 in 2024. This increase in advertising costs naturally has many sellers wondering how to reduce a cost on Amazon, which is exactly why I have created this video. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today we'll discuss advanced strategies to reduce your A cost on Amazon. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Well, there are three main factors that affect your advertising cost of sales. Are the average selling price of the product being advertised, the cost per click you pay, and uh, the conversion rate of your ad campaign. Now to get a better ACoS, it helps you have a higher selling price, uh, pay less per click and have more people buy after clicking on your ad. Now while these three things work well together, uh, your ACoS improves, changing the selling price might be tough especially if your products are already priced competitively. But you can still influence the cost per click and the conversion rates, which can make your A cost better. Now, here are some tips to help you do just that and ultimately improve your A cost on Amazon. First is use day parting to improve your advertising strategy. By analyzing data from the Amazon marketing stream, you can figure out the best times of the day and the days of the week to adjust your advertising tactics. Now, this helps you spend your money more wisely and get better results. For instance, let's say a brand notices that they either don't make many sales or their advertising costs are really high during the first seven hours and the last five hours of the day. In this situation, they could benefit from setting up a day parting strategy. This means they can lower their bids during these specific hours to avoid wasting money on ads that don't perform well. Moreover, you can use the uh, marketing stream data to analyze the placement and budget information on an hourly basis. This allows you to adjust the placement modifiers and budgets accordingly to hourly trends, not just bids. So Celera provides you with the Amazon marketing stream data and after analyzing it, you can set the departing rules easily with the automation tool. So on the uh, Celera dashboard, navigate uh, to the advertising click on automation, select the custom rules. In the given preset uh, template, you can uh, choose the day parting rule and then create the rule. Now, uh, there are three simple steps to do so. You can create day parting automation on your daily account and campaign level budget. So I'm selecting campaign level, sponsored products and all campaigns. Next, you can target the right audience at the right time of the day. Uh, earliest start date is tomorrow's date and the end date you can select as for your choice. In step three, you can allocate the distribution of the daily budget according to the hour. Select the time and the budget for this particular hour and now click on next, review and enable. And this is how you set day parting rules in no time. Second is two specific uh, less competitive long tail keywords. Now long tail keywords are detailed phrases with fewer searches but uh, stronger intent. They are not as popular among advertisers so they often come with lower costs per click and a better chance of converting if they closely relate to your product. So by using a mix of uh, these keywords in your campaign you can bring down uh, your overall CPC and boost your conversion rate. You can gauge the competition level by uh, checking Amazon's suggested bid for these keywords. Now, you might be wondering how to find the most relevant long tail keywords. Well, fear not, I've got you covered with some helpful tips. Take a look at the search term report from uh, your automatic campaigns. Identify the keywords with three or more words uh, that are generating good sales. 
Now check out Amazon's uh, auto suggest feature. You can often find valuable long tail keywords here too. And if you want to excel your keyword research, try using the seller app uh, Amazon keyword tool. It can help you uh, discover the long tail keywords from a seed keyword. So let me show you how to do so. On the uh, seller app platform, navigate to the keyword tool. Under this, we have keyword research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. So in this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering running shoes for men. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find uh, the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, uh, you can find the tags against these keywords. So they depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which you know, these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where uh, you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. Uh, there you can analyze them better for a specific period of time and if they are good to go, then add them to your advertising. Now, within a few clicks, you can add more relevant keywords to your advertising. You can export the data with this tab and, uh, you know, copy paste the most relevant keywords list into a new sheet in your Excel spreadsheet. Now, next is to utilize uh, the reverse ASIN tools like Seller App to find the long tail keywords with good search volume and relevance from the competitors listings. Now in the reverse ASIN tool, you can compare your ASIN with your competitors ASIN. I've added two ASINs and now click on compare. So the best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors ASINs. Well, you'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitor's ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate these keywords. Now, this is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. If you consider this example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. So this can be that keyword which is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon SERPs. So you can directly add them to advertising or if you want, uh, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. Now there, you can analyze them uh, for a specific period of time and if they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. So this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your ads. So in this way, you can use long tail keywords to improve your sales velocity as well. Now third is control your bid smartly. Uh, managing your bids effectively is key to uh, keeping your advertising cost of sales low on Amazon. So if you are not uh, regularly adjusting bids for well-performing targets and cutting back on bids for high ACoS targets, your ACoS is likely to stay high. However, bid management isn't straightforward. You have to tailor your approach based on factors like the type of targets, like branded, generic, or competitor keywords, the match types like auto, broad, phrase, exact, or product, the stage of the target, uh, whether they are newly added or old, and the campaign's goal, whether it's for brand awareness or efficiency. I highly recommend using the Seller App Automation tool to set up automated bid management rules for different types of targets. Fourth is try product targeting. Now product targeting lets you aim your ads at specific uh, products or categories. It's a handy way to lower your A cost because you are reaching out to folks who are already into the products like yours. To get started, uh, check out your own product listing and find similar items. Then set up a campaign uh, that targets those particular products. So when you are setting up your campaign, think about how uh, competitive each product is. If there's a lot of competition, it might be tough to rank for, which could push up your ACoS. Now, but uh, you know, if there's less competition, it could be easier to rank for and could help bring your ACoS down. Fifth is leverage the down only bidding strategy. So are you using the up and down or fixed bidding strategy for your campaigns with high ACoS? 
with the up and down strategy amazon can automatically boost your bid by up to 100% for top placements on the first page of the search results and by up to 50% for other spots now this can be great for campaigns that are already performing well because it can bring in extra sales uh, beyond what your base bid would get you However, for campaigns with high ACoS, it's usually best to go with the down only bidding strategy. This tends to work the best out of all the three bidding strategies. Sixth is utilize negative keywords. Now, negative keywords are like filters for your ads. They are words or product codes that you don't want your ads to show up for. When you add negative keywords to your Amazon ads, you are basically telling Amazon not to show your ads when someone searches for those specific terms. Especially if you are uh, running a bunch of uh, different types of campaigns like auto, broad match, phrase match or category targeting ones, uh, there's a good chance uh, your product might not perform well or even convert at all for certain search terms. So in those cases, uh, adding those terms as negatives can help you block out the relevant traffic. Uh, this way, you are not wasting money on clicks that won't lead to the sales. You can easily do this using the Seller App Dashboard. In the Advertising Insights section, there's a feature called Negative Search Terms. Now, these search terms have a higher ACoS than your target ACoS, which means they are likely uh, irrelevant or not leading to conversions for your product, causing your ad budget to be wasted. To optimize your uh, campaign and reduce unnecessary ad expenses, select these search terms and click uh, mark negative in your campaigns. Now this action will turn them into negative exact keyword match types for your campaigns. However, if your product is in the early stages and your main goal is to maximize the visibility, you can click on the ignore for seven days button. Now this will prevent the search term from appearing in your negative search term dashboard for the next seven days. Additionally, you can individually set each uh, search term as negative in the dashboard by clicking on the mark negative button at the end of the search term row, making them exact negative keywords for your campaign. Seventh is focus on the best performing variation. If you have got a parent product with several child variations and one of those variations is doing way better than the rest, it's smart to put more of your advertising energy into promoting that top performer. This typically leads to more sales and as a result, a lower advertising cost of sale for your ad campaign. Eight is optimize the placement modifier of the campaign. Amazon provides you placement level data and bid control for all the three placements within each uh, sponsored products campaign, top of search, product page and rest of search using the placement modifier strategically you can actually help you improve the ACoS of your ad campaign if you observe a particular placement within your campaign exhibiting a low conversion rate and a high ACoS um, reducing the placement modifier can help you lower your CPC and minimize your ad spend on that specific placement Conversely, if you identify that one of the three placements uh, significantly outperforms the others in terms of ACoS, uh, increasing the placement modifier for that particular placement will enable you to drive more sales with a better ACoS. So improving your ad campaign's ACoS on Amazon might feel overwhelming, but it's super important in the competitive e-commerce world. So keep an eye on your campaigns, do thorough keyword research, adjust your bids and targets carefully and polish your product listings as well. Doing these things will slowly bring down your ACoS and make your Amazon business more profitable. Remember, lowering your ACoS is a journey that needs patience and perseverance. So keep testing and tweaking your strategies and be ready to adapt as things change in the market. So Seller App can help you achieve the PVC success you, your brand deserves. So reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App.
let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics you can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you if you haven't already click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content happy selling